Hey, what's going on, guys? So, just got back from the Arkansas River, and, you know, it was kind of a new experience for me. You know, I don't have a whole lot of experience on Arkansas rivers. And so, you know, um, did a little bit of research and, and wanted to try something a little bit new, uh, to try to, you know, diversify my portfolio. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I just want to learn as many new techniques as, as I want. One thing that I've noticed is, you know, be a student of the industry. You know, always be willing to learn something new so that you can make um, so that you can make some adjustments and adapt to your conditions and just be a little bit more versatile. So what I the tournament did not go as expected. You know, not I mean not. Let me rephrase that. The tournament didn't go like I wanted to. It sort of went um, kind of kind of. Ex Expected just simply because you know I didn't have a very good practice. Um, caught a ton of fish, just couldn't catch anything with any size to it. So, um, and of course, uh, there are some guys that that, that caught them. There's always going to be somebody that catches them, and that's why it's important for us to uh, grow together. You know, I think that's going to be my motto, man. Let's let's grow together. Let's help one another out with these videos, and um, let's let's grow together as anglers. So, what I want to do is first is I want to show you. The, the new technique that for me that I learned um, was throwing a tube. And so uh, I want to teach you today on how to throw a tube um, and uh, just kind of show you uh, some video on, uh, you know, areas that are targeted and what worked for me and what didn't. But first off, let me just show you how to tie this thing and get it rigged up. Um, so how do you tie a tube bait? How do you rig a tube bait? And then how do you fish a tube bait? So... Um, little yum tube that I got here, a little salt tube. Um, all the salt's gone. I used the crap out of these. Uh, so, first thing you do is, is um, for me, now remember, guys and gals, you know, with, with me doing this, this is how I do it. This is a, uh, the success that I had. May not be the right way. If you do something different, hit it in the uh, comment section. And while you're in that comment section, while you're going down there and, and helping me grow to, and helping you grow, why don't you hit that like and subscribe button too? Let's go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. All right, first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to turn this tube upside down. So there's, you know, there's your tube, a little yum tube. Then I'm going to turn this thing upside down, and here's your tube uh, rig. I've got a three eighth ounce weight there for my tube, um, and I went with this. I went with the three eighth ounce. What I was, I was actually worried that this three eighths would be a little bit too much because what you want on this river system is you want your bait to naturally fall, bump against rocks, especially in the dead heat of the summer like this. Uh, those fish tend to suspend a little bit shallower water on a river system, and so you want this bait to naturally move with the current and literally bump them in the nose. All right. So here's how I hook it up. So I got it upside down. Got the skirt moved out of the way. I'm going to take my hook, and I'm going to go inside the tube. Now, I'm going to try to run this hook. It's a hollow body tube all the way up almost. You're not going to come out the top of your tube, but you're going to come out towards the top on the right hand, or, you know, on the side at an angle. So you're going to run it in here and then push that bad boy right about there. See how that hook comes out right there? And then you're going to run the whole hook, the way everything's going to go inside. You're going to pull it all the way through, just like that. Okay? Now, once you pull it through, you got your eye. Now, you're going to tie to that. I'll go ahead and do that now. And just for the sake of the video, I'm not going to tie any, I'm not going to tie a polymer. I'm not going to tie a clinch, improved clinch, anything. I'm just going to simply just tie a knot real quick, just so I can show you the next couple steps. Okay, so, after you get that tied up, what you want to do is you want to push that eye back through the hole that you pulled it through. So your line kind of goes in that hole. Okay? And then all you're going to do is, is you're going to take this hook. You're not going to stab it in anything. I like to take that skirt, split it in half, and then just go over that skirt. And then what you see here is, if you see, I kind of just ran it right underneath that tube. It's not actually stuck in the tube at all. It's just running underneath the tube and then it's right in the middle right there and that hook sits right against that tube to keep it weedless so that you can bump it and things. Now one thing that I, I did learn that uh, the fish that I were catching, a lot of them were super finicky. They weren't really biting very good um, and, and so what they were doing is I think they were pulling on this tail of this tube and, and you know when I set the hook 
you know, it really ripped the tube right off the hook. And for me, I had to retie completely, you know, to be able to put the tube back on, just simply because you have to run the hook through it and, and all that. So if you know a better way to, to put on a new tube after you've already tied your hook uh, or your rig, let me know. Put it in the comment section. Um, again, let's let's learn together. What I had to do is just, just completely retie, and that's okay. You know, sometimes you got to do that on the water. So that's how you tie a tube. That's how you rig a tube. That's the setup that you get right there. So how do we fish this? So for me, um, you know, what seemed to work best for me was in our situation on the river, uh, we didn't we didn't have any current. Uh, they weren't really pushing a lot of water, pulling a lot of water. Um, and so what we had to re really rely on was the wind. We did have some high winds, 10 to 15 hour winds that did create its own current, which was a good thing. So what I did is I actually started at the back end of a lock and dam because those lock and dams um, create their own current. And that's really where I had the most success. So you, so you really need some current for a good tube. And what I did was, or what you really need to do is you find that break in the current. You find that, uh, that calm water, that slack water. And, and, and what you do is you pitch that tube up in that current and you allow the current to push it down into that, um, into that slack water. And there's a transition area from the current to that slack water where the water turns and, cur and churns up a little bit. Typically, that's where the bass are, are, are chilling out and waiting. And in that case, it was for me. Now, there's two things, two ways that you could do this. You could sit on the back side of that current break and you could pitch up and allow it to move through that current break. Or you could be on the same side as the current and allow your bait to be pushed against uh, an object. And for me, that's where I found the most success. Because there was not a lot of current, the bass were actually on the current side of the break. And, um, and, and you can see in some of, the, uh, uh, some of the angles here on the water uh, where I'm talking about how I would pitch up and I would allow that bait to push or that current to push that bait right against uh, uh, that piece of structure and the bass were holding right against that piece of structure and they would pick that tube up and, uh, and, and, and we would catch fish. If they're not there, then get on the back side and uh, you can see in, 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 the, in the video too that I was actually on the back side of that current break, whether that be some water running over some rocks into a little oxbow or something like that. And sometimes those fish will sit on that calm side of that break. So, um, folks, that's it. That's that's how I fished the tube. I had great success. Caught a bunch of fish. Built a lot of confidence with it. So I'm going to have no problem throwing it again the next time I'm on a river system. And so, hey, if you like this, like, subscribe. Give me some ideas. If, if there's something that you want to know, let me know. And, and let's grow together, guys. All right? I appreciate y'all watching. And I hope this informs you. I hope it helps you out. And I hope you catch more fish. All right. See y'all. Thanks for your support.